Hi, and welcome to the first ever um, confessions of a barista. Did that myself. <laughs> okay, um, so hi, and today's episode uh, will focus on foam. The foam of your latte, the foam of your mocha, the foam in your misto. Why does everyone hate foam? Why does everyone hate it so much? I mean, I can only think of a few people that I serve that just really like it. Foam. I think that people feel like they're being cheated out of coffee or milk or their money if they get too much foam, which is understandable. I remember one time I got a hot chocolate somewhere at my school, and after walking away, I looked down and it was half full because all the foam, which was at the top, had disappeared. <laughs> So it can be a pretty traumatizing experience when you spend four or five dollars on a drink and half of it's not there. Of course, you are getting the right amount of espresso, just not the right amount of milk. The espresso will always remain the same in your drink. So instead of saying, ah, oh, my drink is half full, just turn it back into the barista and they can fill it up with more milk for you. If they have egos where they think that their drink is perfect and why should you turn it back? That's, they need to get past that. It's not about them. It's not about the drink. It's about you being happy with your purchase. So if your drink isn't what you want, feel free to turn it back in. But don't be a jerk about it because <laughs> it's kind of hard to get rid of foam. I can sit there for like five minutes just taking away foam, taking away foam, and it just keeps growing back. And when I think that I've got it all taken away and I hand it off to you, and then you look at it 10 minutes later and it has foam in it, especially with soy and half and half. They're very foamy. Not fat, not so much, but it still can be. So anyway, foam is actually a really great thing. It's really creamy and the texture is just so light and fluffy. It's really a great thing on top of your latte. Of course, it shouldn't be there in your milk, is, but anyway, different story. So... What we learned today is don't be afraid to give it back and say, hey, I want it made right, because it is your money. I mean, I've seen people spend over $7 on one drink. It's crazy. <laughs> so don't be afraid to give it back. Number two, don't fear the foam. It's a good thing if it's just, you know, a quarter of an inch of your drink, which is all it should be. So thank you for listening to Confessions of a Barista. I hope I'll be broadcasting a few more. And let me know if you have any questions about um, lattes, coffees, cappuccinos, and things of that nature. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Thank you.